Hey there. So, Dave Earl here, SF Logic Ninja, whatever you want to call me. So, um, UltraBeat. UltraBeat is an incredible pattern-based sequencer that's built into Logic. Um, I'm going to go over just the basics today, just how to basically get something done in UltraBeat. But it's an immensely powerful program, and uh, I might have to actually break this up. I had to break this tutorial up into two parts. Um, there will probably be another part where I'll show you how to program drums and then bring in samples and stuff. But I'm trying to prioritize which tips to give you. So um, enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to my tips and tricks videos. I'm doing this from home today, so you don't get any cute little headshot of me talking to you. I'll try and do that next time. Anyway, uh, I've got instrument one here and I'm gonna come down here and put an ultra beat on it and I'm gonna show you guys some things about making beats in Logic. So this is ultra beat. It's a pattern based sequencing drum module that's built into Logic and it's really really powerful. Okay so let me give you the layout here real quick. So over on the left hand side here we have all of the different instruments that are assigned to all the different keys of your keyboard. So if I go down here and I play this C, you'll hear a kick. If I play this C sharp, you'll hear a rim shot, snare, claps, snare two. And right next to it, when I select this area right here, you'll note that all of the parameters on this side change. Okay? For every instrument that you have over here, all of these settings are completely changeable. So that's pretty crazy because essentially every key that you have in UltraBeat has its own complete synthesizer dedicated to it. Every key that you have on the left hand side you've got a uh, three oscillator synthesizer that you can fully customize and tweak to your heart's content. So in this case when I've got a kick here if I look over here and see what's going on I know that it's using, these are the three oscillators. We have oscillator one, oscillator uh, two, and then we have the noise oscillator here, which just creates noise. It's creating a kick drum just basically out of a phase oscillator synth. It's like a sine wave that's going through a process of filtration and going through uh, the amplitude here to get ourselves a nice kick drum, kind of like an old 808 from the 80s or something like that. Now. If I go to snare, we'll see that we've got oscillator 1's got a wave playing, oscillator 2 has a wave playing, and then the noise oscillator's on. How can I tell? Well, these little power buttons are turning the different oscillators on and off, okay? And it's a really complex signal flow going on in here. Basically what's happening is we've got the wave goes into this little area here, which is giving us volume, velocity, pitch, et cetera, et cetera. That's traveling in, you know, when I turn this on, it travels into this filter, which then goes to my amplifier section. So if I go to the noise section here, the noise, here's all my volume settings. It's not passing to the filter. If it was going to the filter, this little deal would be on. And then it goes to the amplifier and out. Down here, this wave goes into the filter, and then goes through the amplifier and out. So, pretty crazy. Three oscillator synth um, that is, well actually technically it's a two oscillator synth that has a noise oscillator built into it, but I don't know. Um, you, can, you can feel free to critique me on that. So anyway, that is just the synthesizer portion. Now down here at the bottom we have the step sequencer. Now the way a step sequencer works is if I click on this kick right here, these are the individual steps that will play in time to my song, and it will play the kick. So when we hit play on this, the kick is essentially happening on the downbeat. Well, I have to see what the 16th note resolution, 32 16th notes, let's see, that would be 16 eighth notes, B8, 8 beats, or quarter notes. So if I turn this power button on, essentially I'm getting a four on the floor kick. And you'll note to turn the sequencer on, I have to turn this little power button on. 
So they have all these little power buttons. To turn on the oscillator, you have to hit the little power button. If you want to turn the sequencer on, you hit the little power button, right? And then when I hit play, it's playing the pattern, OK? So this is one of the preset patterns that comes built in the minute that you open Ultra Beat up, OK? Um, if I go to the rim shot, you'll note that the rim shot pattern is pretty different from the kick pattern, OK? But you can see, if I go to the rim shot and I hit play, so you get the idea. Pretty cool. Now, so these are the steps that we'll play. Okay, so if I click here, this is how I make new steps, right? So if I click 10, here I'll hit play on another one. 